everything. If you don't believe you can do something, then you can't. Nobody's going to be able to save it for you. So we have to do what we have to do. No matter what it is. Tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off. But you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you've got to be willing to take the hits and not point your fingers saying, you ain't where you want to be because of him or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. When the disappointments and the rejections come, and they're going to come by the truckloads, your reasons will be your rod and staff to comfort you, to pick you up once again. Because if you can look up, you can get up. Let your reasons get you back up. guys and welcome to a brand new save, a brand new fresh look at Football Manager 2018. The winter update is out, has been since Thursday and today is Monday. So to the weekend as you know, I already said it in the uh, Rebuild Ranger save. But this is back in the pack, it is back space in space the pack, not backing the pack, back in the pack. And yeah, we have got, I have to admit, an exciting squad. Apart from maybe John Ruddy. Uh, I'm trying also not to show too much of it. You'll probably maybe see one or two, maybe, that have come in. That I have bought. You're like, oh, I don't remember him being being signed. Yeah, that's probably because I bought him. But we're going to have, we'll just see the squad there. It's, you know, it's your average squad apart from now. This man. Is come in from Atletico originally on loan, but he is now joining Wolves permanently at uh, the start of next season. So we've got for the Premier League if we get there, which I'm hoping we will. So we do have transfers as well, guys. Obviously, it is transfers we've got. We brought in a little bit of cover. Everyone's going oh. for three stars at 32 year old. A little bit of cover for the team on that right side. Not, I'm not expecting him to do much. He's on a rotation contract anyway, so we're you know we're not um, expecting him to do all these amazing things. But he's there. We brought this guy in, Chuma. You probably seen him in other people's lives. If he grows nicely with us, so play him in Carabao Cup, FA Cups, you know, stuff like that. He could be okay, a four star potential, well, three and a half star potential with a blackout of maybe another half a star, uh, pretty much a full star. So he could be a four and a half star potential striker. 
I thought that's what it is. If not, you've got enough for the end and anything really is it uses profit. And then of course the big signing was this guy, our brand new who is going to be our first choice goalkeeper. He is better than John Ruddy, effectively. In slight uh, physical and short stopping maybe, but he's just look at everything else. Is either on par or better. There's a old pre drag Ratchovic Rakovic. So they're the three to come in. But whether there'll be any more, I don't know. Niall Ennis also has is currently going out on loan. I don't know who to. Uh, Doncaster or Lane Orient. And the only player so far that's gone out this uh, transfer window is uh, Bright Ikarambi. He's on loan at Hibs. He's not. He, um, I don't know about him. To be very, very honest. He's out for a long time now, out for six months. It could be that he's done already at 19. He is only 19. But he's there. Anyway, guys, those are the transfers. There's not a lot. We've also got Ivan Calavero suspended at the moment, so we're going to have to make do with what we've got at the moment. I am trying to bring in maybe one more person if need be. But. Yeah, I'm also trying to maybe move on um, Joe Mason just to bring in a little bit of funds. Apart from that, I've also got this, another, they were full of potential, very, very good potential across and down the lines. As you can see, you have Harry Burgoyne, I think I should say it, Burgoyne, 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 something like that. But you also got players like Yusker Ba, um, Dominic Iorfa. Mind you, these are on current abilities, so because you can have a look at if you have a look at Dominic Iorfa, as you know from his um, yeah, he, he's decent, ish. So we'll see. You know, you look down. I got Niall Ennis there, absolutely phenomenal youngster, uh, five star potential too. So he's not far off from coming into the squad and doing a job for us but so today we're going to play Middlesbrough the obligatory one game today and then we'll uh, just carry on through the season at an normal rate we are playing if we have a look at the tactic train apart from Ivan Calavero which we'll put Jordan Graham in for uh, pre-drag can go into the bench I'll put him in actually in John Ruddy in. You're wondering, oh, why why is Jesus Nevers? <laughs> I am training it uh, not Jesus Nevers. Ooh, I wish. Uh, Ruben Nevers. As I'm training him in here. Right in there. For this. So that's why he's getting trained as an attacking midfielder. Well, it's more of a shadow striker than anything else. We are going for our normal um Formation, our four four two diamond. This is slightly things you never really get to see. Is get these player instructions. I love doing them all the way done. That's how I'm done for every game. Now, know exactly what they're meant to do. So we're just going to get straight into this. We are indeed playing a very good, just relegated Mid Middlesbrough side. So we need to uh, remember that one as well. It is, in, it is a very good um, Middlesbrough side. But I'm hoping maybe, just maybe, this team is a team to do. Also, we've got this young star that we didn't realise we had. Uh, Rafa Mer, Mer, I think that's how you say it. 20-year-old Spanish uh, young star. He came in from the Valencia B team. Or, well, he came in from the three. He is very good. On top, I'm looking for your uh, anaphobi to give us this. I'm going to start with also at the back, Willie Bowley and Ryan Bennett Bowley's. He's a good four star, 26 year old French, not non international from Porto. 
can come in quite simply can come in apart from that you've got Roman Sais Roderick Miranda Leo Bonatini I'm not sure about I have played a network save and I'm currently playing a network save right now you can't get in the team he played against Steven and Jeanette and he just he didn't turn up to be fair so yeah we're going to go with this team to begin with there's a lot John Graham can't really play out there he really can't but <clears throat> we will see but for Middlesbrough, as you know, our team they have Britt, Asa, Omablunga, I can't actually say his name, uh, Stuart Downing, and then they have Johnson, Housen, Ledbetter and Terori playing in the flat mid four, with Friend, Gibson, Ayala and Fabio as a flat back four, with Darif Randolph in goal, currently making his debut along with uh, Asa Belaga, Jody Housen and Marvin Johnson. So, sorry for yawning and everything else in this video. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of changes as you can see. You've probably seen a few of these in the Rebuilding Rangers uh, videos. There isn't a set schedule yet. This is going to be now Monday to maybe Thursday, four days, and then maybe... I know there wasn't one today. Was there one today? No, I did not make a Rangers one for today. So that might be just cut down to Fridays and... Saturdays, maybe, maybe just down to two. We'll see. We will see uh, how. If not, maybe. Well, I have got, uh, depends what I do with my three days off from work. Um, but yeah, here we go. Starting a brand new season. Oh, let's speed this up a wee bit, shall we? There we go. <coughs> Asa Belonga. Housing. I'm just hoping now that we have got a keeper that's going to be there pretty much long term we also need to switch this oh. uh, to key highlights just for these ones George Friendle the top task belong up Ryan Bennett's there though pre drag up only as far as lid better though Johnson back to House and Downey, Downing even back and dies there though. Douglas good cover straight back to Rakovic. I don't mind playing this kind of football. Oof. At this present moment, nice calm. Just get playing the ball calmly to each other. Let's get those possessions down. There we go. To Diego Yota. So you can see his name's changed for some reason. Benicophobi's through. Oh, Benicophobi really should have scored. Sorry. A phobie should have scored. Again, you probably remember him from the Ipswich save. <coughs> but, yeah. We are, um. Okay, we're not really needing recent events up here. So we will put up the latest scores just in here. Just so we know who's playing who. For important games, Willy Bowley over the top. Two good clean cut opportunities to go 1 0 up. Matt Doherty. Ooh, is he taking a knock or is he just tired? I just realised he's got two keepers on the bench. Mm. There's not a lot going on. As a. Uh, Teams around us are starting to pick up their goals now. It's not looking very. We'll, we'll just move up the table with a nil nil. But that's not what we want to happen. We want the best. We want this to be. be there's no highlight. Apparently. Oh, and uh, day four of Snow Watch. Actually, no, it's not. It's day 5 of Snow Watch. In the videos, it's day 4. Uh, no snow. It's starting to rain now. So, Rain Watch will commence shortly. Yeah. No, Douglas. He is quite good at free kicks. A phobie down. There's no one there. And Dine really needs to get there. 
and he does, but no one's there for lead. But or he's way out of position. He's back into it now, and that should force Middlesbrough back a little bit. That's a bit longer through. Can hit the target. We're just slowly creeping up that table. The more teams that seem to lose, the more we just seem to creep up the table. And we dropped down one. But yeah, it's a poor, poor first half. I'm not happy out there, lads. Uh, all fired up and ready to go. Oh, Silva, that was a bit of a dodgy one. Bennett to Bowley. <coughs> Been a very even game so far. Very even. But I'm hoping that uh, we can find that colour instinct. Not, not, uh, but, uh, but, uh, not to be killed. Luckily that was offside. I gotta have been mad if that went in. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, nothing happening in this game. Absolutely nothing. I really don't know what it is. And it's not like we can I mean, we haven't really got any strikers or anyone that's gonna come on. What's going to happen is, I'm going to take and die off though, just because he's on that yellow card, I don't want to get him red carded on his first effective day at the club. But there's not a lot, we need a bit of creativity somewhere, but at least uh, pre-drugs may be hopefully going to keep a clean sheet. I don't mind a slow start to the season, but we need to at least pick up three points. I don't care if it's one goal. Lewis Baker's picked up a knock. Are you just injuring the players now? Um, Graham loses out. Right now there's good ball. Oh, Benick. Struggling a bit. But, uh, Varange Jr. No one really there. There is Yota, surely it's 1-0 Wolverhampton Wanderers. Diogo Yota has pinged that one into the net. Uh, a, that's a nice tackle. Well timed, despite being on a book and it's a well timed tackle. Defender gets a, he just kind of slots around the keeper. It is a very, very well played goal. Well. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well created goal. Of it. I don't know. But as you can tell, I'm excited by this. It's another year in a championship, but it's not I don't think it's gonna be just as frustrating as being <laughs> being Ipswich was. It was indeed very, very good. I hope you all like the new intro as well. It's a bit of a motivational intro went for for this one. I couldn't really I try not to keep the uh this season I've gone motivational. Last season was just kind of highlights or just a uh, fan a fans chanting for Ajax but you know I know I, I did say it would be oh you know, it could be a a lesser known team and then oh you know big team. And I kinda go build building back. Bulls are a semi big team to be quite honest. Uh so yeah, okay, one nil. Take it. Yeah, well done lads. Clean sheet. A lot. Are you one nilla that's put us in eighth? To be quite honest, we're there. It just results everywhere else. But to give you a kinda look at Wolverhampton just to see that I'm not just going, oh well, you know, they are they are, are they a big club, where are they a big club? Yes. If we have a look at the profile of the club. No, it's not. What am I looking for? History. The overview of history of the club. They've won the English Premier Division. They've won the, bar the won the EPL, the Premier League, three times. The FA Cup, four times. They've won the Championship. They've won the Carabao Cup. They've won effectively every league going. And they've never really been out the Championship. There, there's the one they were. They were finished there, twenty, 
12, 13. That was a straight drag down. Now they were consistent. They went up in 09, finished 15th, finished 17th, then rooted to the table. But then went straight down, came back up the season later, and I've really just kind of been around. So, yeah, they are a reasonably big club. But, we're run out, we will come back for the Cardiff and Brentford game next. So, yeah, guys, I'll, uh, Catch you later. Remember to like, comment, subscribe below. Till next time, that's bye for now.